Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and uh, Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading, May 13th to uh, May 19th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards, and we can go straight away uh, into the spread of the week. Alright, so uh, the first card which is marking the topic for Cancer's Week, that is going to be the Death card, followed by the second one which is uh, the challenges that Cancer needs to overcome here, we do have the Four of Wands, third card, it is going to be the, what helps you, the positivity throughout the week, that is going to be the Seven of Swords. And then the last card for you guys, which is uh, the Guidance here for Tarot, that will be the uh, Seven of Cups. So we do have the death card, which is uh, the topic, followed by the four of wands, which is uh, the challenge. Third one is going to be the seven of swords, which is going to be the um, positivity or what helps you. And the last one that is going to be the uh, seven of cups. Uh, that is going to be the guidance. So uh, a very uh, th this, this reading depends a lot on in what kind of a situation you are in. Because uh, the reading points to that you are going to close one door and open another. And where that door is going to be closed and what door opens, it does depend on your personal, personal, personal situation. So uh, before I start indulging with every single card, I will give you a few examples just so you know what I'm talking about, you know. That could be final finalization of your divorce, okay? Or it could be where you already uh, where you file for a divorce, and here throughout this week you make your demands, closing one door, showing that this is irreversible, making your demands and opening another door, probably toward another person. It could be as well, you know, where you um, give a notice in your current job that you're leaving the job making your demands for the final final payment and moving on toward a another job. So it's about closing one door and moving into something better for you cancers. It could be as well closing into friendship, you know. So let's say someone uh, owns you money, a friend of yours owns, owns you money and it kind of bullshit you around and, and kind of makes, makes those stupid excuses not to give your money back and you just here sever the friendship, make your demands straight away, for example, saying them that you're going to sue them if the money are not in your bank account one week from now and moving on forward into the future. So, uh, yeah, the death card here as a topic, it does expresses exactly uh, that really. It, it does point that you are going to traverse a, a change. Now, the change with the death card is uh, representing a substitution or a replacement. You know, you replace one thing that does no longer benefit you. You don't see any reason to move on forward with it. With a someone, uh, with a something that is similar into um, look liking. Well, I don't know how to say it. So, something that is the same as a um, 
manifestation, all right? But different, <clears throat> excuse me, but a, 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 it is a different as an unfoldment. So it's kind of like replacing one relationship with another, replacing one job with, with another, replacing one friend with another, all right? So you don't lose a, a friend, you're just replacing one friend with another. You don't lose your job, you replace your job with another. You don't lose your project, you replace your project with another. You don't lose your partner, you replace your partner with another. The accompanied card here of the death that is going to be the uh, Ten of Cups. And uh, uh, well, these cards speak for themselves, really. Now, the combo here, it is a, a passive supporters. And what they say is that you no longer see any reason to move on um, or to sustain what you do have in that situation or with this person any longer because you realize that you do deserve more, you need more here. The Ten of Cups does express this in this case. That, and um, how can I place it? That property of the human nature that we always need more, we always need to improve, we always need to grow. And here throughout the week, you will see that there is no more growth in either your current job, in either your current friendship, or in either your current relationship, therefore making that conscious uh, decision that you need to move on from it, okay? It's just, it's, it's time for you to move on and to create a better circumstances for yourself and stray for a better perspectives that are lur lurking behind the corner. Or, it could refer to something very small, a trifle really. Uh, it could refer to that you are realizing that some habits of yours are very unhealthy. Smoking, for example, drinking, for example, or a lifestyle that you don't have much of your physical activities and being determined here to substitute that, you know, with a much more productive um, how can I, activity into your lifestyle, making your life much more healthier, all right? That could be as well a, an uh, interpretation of these couple of cards. So yeah, if you look, for example, to become slimmer, maybe um, if you are feeling, you know, that's kind of like you do have abnormal weight and you aim to be slimmer, for example, uh, this week could be very productive for you to make your workout plans or, you know, you are slim like me and you want to kind of like put mass on, uh, that week could be an, a productive way to, to do it. I mean, to make, to create your workout plan, your diet and move on forward uh, with it. But in general, it's going to be a week where you're going to uh, undergo a, a significant transformation a significant change and definitely that change is going to be toward a, a better heights um, in your environment the accompanied card or not the accompanied but the second one which is the challenge here is going to be the four of wands and uh, the only way that this card fits as a challenge here is that you may do the thing uh, way too premature okay and uh, before you sever ties either with the, ho with the habit of yours or with the hobby of yours, for example, uh, now that I said hobby of yours, maybe you like skiing or you like mountain climbing, all right? These are rather un very unhealthy hobbies. I mean, see what happens to Schumacher, for example, or people fall from cliffs all day long. Park hour is a very dangerous sport, for example, right? So you find out that these things are unhealthy, these things are potentially um, dangerous, and you want to sever ties with it. Well, this card points that it could be a bit premature in the sense of that you may regret some of your actions moving on forward. It's not that it is premature uh, that you are going to do it. It is premature how you're doing it. Same applies for if you want to uh, break in a relationship or change in a relationship, you know, or just switch jobs and so on and so forth. While the card points is there are still details in there that needs to be attended to and you have to uh, use the week in order to do so, okay? There are still a, um, important matters that has, to be, uh, that has to be settled. And another card that we do have here, that is to be the chariot and uh, which speaks for premature performance as well. Uh, the uh, combo, it is the uh, active enemies that we do have. And actually, 
when these couple of cards and, uh, are inactive enemies, that is a good uh, situation where the only thing that you will have to do throughout this week, you know, in order not to make it a premature, um, how can I place a premature manifestation of your change? Um, leaving things unattended, leaving things unsettled back into the past is only empathize with those people which are involved into uh, into those enterprises which you want to change. For example, you want to, um, basically you find that your relationship is no longer productive or your marriage is no longer productive. Uh, you want to, uh, you want to basically leave it well it is best to do it in a very calm fashion and very polite fashion as well approaching your partner current partner telling them how you feel telling them what you want and just doing it instead of you know straight away blocking them or making scandals and these kind of uh, and these kind of stuff uh, but uh, the next card which we do have guys uh, that will be the positivity in the week or what helps you and uh, this is going to be the seven of swords so what we do have here it is a strong strong determination of your behalf to this time around you know make something that makes you happy and to make something that makes you beneficial rather than make something that makes others beneficial in other words you will stop following or you will stop contributing to someone else's battles here but instead but instead taking what you have been owed from this consecutive time you were in those battles and um, charging forth, if I may express it that way, toward your personal agenda, being happy, being lucrative, you know, or just being peaceful as well. This card points that that week you will have that strong sense of self-righteousness you will have that strength to stand behind uh, to stand for your personal rights and to show strong backbone strong spine storming your situation if you want to say it that way you know demanding what you have been owed not allowing anybody to take advantage for example of your kindness the accompanied card here that is going to be the five of cups the formation that we do have it is a uh, active neutrals and it looks like that uh, this clamorous belief of that the best is yet to come is going to be very strong within you uh yeah there are going to be that sense that probably you have wasted some time along the way until this and uh, until you end up here at that particular moment but also you're going to recognize that it's not too late to fix that all right it's not too late to have what you deserve all right and that that additionally is going to um, boost your determination to do what it is necessary to um, simply you know acquire uh, what you uh, what you deserve. So, cancers, it does look like that this week, guys, uh, is going to be a um, quite significant one for what I can say, uh, where. Finally, I can't say really finally, but a, a week where you are going to basically stop uh, being used, if I may express it that way. And also start thinking more of yourself and what your soul, if I may express it that way, needs rather than what everybody else's soul needs as well. Yeah, relationship could be broken throughout the week. Yes, you know, jobs could be left but with these cards, it seems that um, it will be toward their positive end. Now, for example, if you are working, you know, and uh, you do have an, a proposition for another job and you're asking yourself, should I take it or not? Well, these cards a, a sure sign that you have to take it, right? Or let's say that you do have a girlfriend, all right? And things are really cold in between you two, and there is someone else uh, that appears as a uh, as an interest. That person shows interest in you as well. You know that girl shows an interest in you. You have an interest in her. Well, that is a clear sign that you will have to basically leave that really um, cold relationship that you are in uh, right now. So the last card, which is a guidance here, that is going to be the uh, Nine of Cups. And as we said that you can have a premature manifestation, the card, re the card regards exactly to that. First of all, on a very positive end, uh, the, nine, the Seven of Cups, excuse me, it does point that what dr whatever dreams you do have right now on this fresh start of yours, all right? 
they can be uh, or they are yet to be determined are they manifestable or are they just the fantasies okay uh, therefore this week you have to dream big i mean, I mean really dream dream uh, big but in the same time, you have to be very objective as well. What can be achieved in a short term, not in a long term one, but in a short term and therefore being quite grounded in regards to what you can um, you can undergo on this uh, at, at this very moment. Because the other way, uh, uh, the other way around is that you may be uh, quite disappointed of that you are wasting some efforts in things that at that stage of your journey cannot be uh, manifested at all. The accompanied card that is going to be the Page of Pentacles here. So the formation is your passive friends, and uh, with the Page of Pentacles, uh, you have to truly, uh, like I said, you know, dream big focus um, dream big as a as an end goal but in the same time be objective very objective in regards to what could be achieved in a short term because the page here points that as soon as you undergo this transformation and you are on the other end or the end of the transformation you are to see and in a perspective that requires a long-term development which could speak for a long-term relationship which could speak for a very beneficial and long-term job with a potential to grow everything will be with a potential to grow in regards to what manifests for you so uh <clears throat> You, you will have to take it slowly and very, very meticulously here instead of wanting or wishing that everything is to happen over a night. So give it a, a time, guys, and don't be, uh, don't be hasty, don't be premature, because everything needs a time to grow, everything needs a, its time to develop. So that being said, Cancers, this was your weekly tarot reading, May 13th to May 19th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.